Well, for more on how Cuba is holding up in the face of the storm, we can cross live now to Havana to speak with our correspondent there, Ed Augusta. Hi, Ed. Just how powerful is this hurricane? What's the extent of the damage where you are? So I'm in Havana, where I was hoping to talk to you uh, over Skype, but unfortunately the power's just gone out. So I'm suspecting that that is to do, to do with the authorities cutting power here, just to make sure there's no accidents. Um, in Havana, there's very big waves, um, not as big as us around the island, perhaps one or two meters. Um, it's visibly gusty, but we don't have hurricane speed winds here. The impact of the storm right now is on the northern central part of the island, where the hurricane's been plowing through for the last nine hours or so, wreaking destruction. Um, it hit at 11 p.m. Cuban time last night. Uh, people were evacuated. The eye of the storm passed over the northern keys, with it, which is important tourist resorts for Cuba. And the images have just been trickling through because even in the, the central part of Cuba where the hurricane hit, hit nine hours ago, the wind speeds are still so high that reporters are struggling to get out and speak to people, get out and taking photos. But from the limited photos that we have trickling in on Facebook and on state media, we can see that there are houses collapsed. We can see that trees have fallen. We can see that phone lines have fallen. Um, so it's a picture of uh, a, a big amount of destruction. No fatalities have yet uh, been uh, announced by state media. Um, we shall wait and see. And what sort of warning did people get? Did Cubans have the time and, of course, the resources to prepare? So Cuba's a middle-income country, third-world country, of course. Um, but uh, despite many dysfunctionalities on the part of the government and the state, the hurricane prevention system here is really second to none, at least in the Caribbean. Um, for, the la for the last three days, uh, the television uh, the, and, and the newspapers and the radio have been repeatedly warning Cubans to evacuate. Some of these evacuations are mandatory. There have been upwards of 700,000 evacuations on the east of the island, the center of the island, and people have been shuttled to either um, parts of towns where the hurricane's going to hit, where there are stronger structures, be that other family homes, be that other neighbors' homes, be that schools, hospitals, military installations, medical personnel are on site, the state's providing people with hydration salts, food, drinking water, and in some cases even clowns to entertain the children. So preparations have been significant. What is going to happen is that the economic cost of this is going to be severe. Um, as I mentioned before, the northern part of the uh, island has a lot of tourist resorts. Um, that's a big money generator for Cuba. Cuba's only just come out of recession. A lot of agriculture is going to be spoiled. And the reconstruction costs are going to be huge. So keep your eyes on Cuba in the coming months to see what the economic damage is going to be. Ed Augustin reporting there from Havana. Thank you very much.